Welcome back. There's a new book that spotlights 100 historical photographs of lone women. We see captivating photos of the ladies in groups of men during historical moments in history. These trailblazers are the only women in the room when it happened. It's like a where's wall, though, that illustrates lack of opportunity. The book is called The Only Women, and it's by documentary filmmaker Emmy Humes. And Emmy joins us live this morning. Are we pronouncing your name correctly? You are indeed. It's just like Jimmy or Timmy. Gotcha. Okay, these are fascinating. So how did you stumble across these photos, and, and what piqued your curiosity that it didn't for other people? Well, I don't know, Robin. It was, it's been like on my mind. It's, I think I started on this at least five years ago, and it started with one particular photo. Um, I'm a documentary filmmaker, and I was looking into research on a biography of a filmmaker, and I found this picture of her surrounded by men, <laughs> and uh, I just started fixating it on a little bit, kind of wondering how she was feeling and what it meant to her career to be that pioneer. And then I started thinking of other photos I'd seen, especially of artists, like yeah. all these different schools of artists where there seemed to be just at most one woman. Right. And uh, started tracking those down and they were just started to become like an obsession. Well, and let's, so then let's I, take a look at some of them. We have a medical student from 1897. Where is she? There she is in the back row, a little bit to the right. So tell us about Anna Searcy. She, they thought she was just a secretary or something, right? Or, or how was she identified in this picture initially? Absolutely. This was a yearbook picture in uh, her medical school. She fought hard to be the first and only woman in that class of medical students. Um, she's older than all of them, you might be able to tell, but um, and a lot more serious looking too, I gotta say. Um, but she, look at that expression on her face. It's hard to hard to parse. But anyway, so she was filed away for years, uh, you know, almost a century under secretary. Wow. Um, then, mm -hmm. Because who else would be? Right. There? Right. The next one, Cannes Film Festival, is a director. And I'm wondering, is there a running theme to how these women broke through? You know, they're all different kinds and mm -hmm. all different situations. That's why I started getting so fascinated the more I collected. You know, there are so many different situations. They're from 20 different countries for decades and decades. And so everyone is a bit of the same story. And then also they're all different. So some of them are just geniuses like Jane Campion. I think, you know, there's some who just are, they really are the trailblazers, the pioneers. Mm. It's interesting um, that those are roughly 100 years apart, and yet you <laughs> yeah. still have right. one woman and a group full of men about the same size, isn't it? Robin, yeah, exactly. I mean, I wonder about 100 years from now. Wow. And let's move on to the next one, uh, the woman who ran the Boston Marathon in 1967. Yeah, there she is getting attacked by one of the race organizers because she, she, she came in under her initials. She was the only woman uh, uh, who the race because women weren't allowed to run the Boston Marathon oh. in 1967. So the guy went ape, excuse me, uh, hog wild when he saw her and <laughs> tried to, you know, tried to grab her and get her out of the race. Wow. He didn't succeed. And uh, this photo was taken in Chicago musician Lil Hardin. That's right. Lil Hardin was an absolute, another genius, and she was a songwriter and a pianist and, you know, just an all-around amazing musician, um, wife of Louis Armstrong. Um, but she was sort of overshadowed by his incredible reputation. And we have one, of course, of the scientist Marie Curie from 1911. Right. The all-time, the all-time great example of the great exception. And like Matt Curie. Mm. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what our next one is. Is I think we have Catherine Graham from 1975. Oh, well, this is Shirley. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I love her little spot of blue there. She was a reluctant only woman. She didn't want to take this job. It, you know, she only had stepped up when her husband first. Her father left it to her husband, the the, the pa newspaper, and then her husband died. So she she was sort of almost forced into it. Look at that at that big boardroom wow. table. It's really something. Well, it's fascinating. The book is Only Woman. For more from Emmy, you can check out thedoctank.com. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. We'll be right back.